Finally tonight, a man from Maine is making a big splash in the art world. Adam Daly Wilson's first solo show called Almost Gone in Chicago has landed him on Artform International's must see list. Wilson, an attorney for 20 years, only started painting in 2014 in between writing legal briefs and parenting two kids. He's creating text based conceptual art that examines our society, our culture, our world. But many of his works have a very real pointed message. Art can speak to your soul, but even when it's spelled out, sometimes you're left to ponder what it really means. My favorite thing as an artist, when I see somebody have that mental hiccup when they're looking at my work and they thought it said one thing and they were so sure, and then they realize it could also mean two or three other things. I think it's a way to change mine. His are stark, provocative words on canvases sometimes the size of a studio wall. Adam Daly Wilson won't share the thoughts or feelings, personal or political, that led to his body of work. Instead, he leaves it to the viewer to find their own meaning. Yet a primary theme clearly emerges, what it is like to live with mental illness. Wilson, a Stanford Law graduate and Portland attorney, has lived with bipolar one for 20 years. It is devastating to be silenced by an entire culture or an entire group of people, to have anybody try and just diminish and demolish yourself and your sense of self and your credibility and your character just because you happen to have a diagnosable illness it's crushing. But Wilson would not be silenced. He's found his voice and his megaphone. It comes down to, you know, if you don't do it, who else is? And are we going to stay silent forever? Or are we just going to be who we are? Wilson contemplates a piece for months and then takes just minutes sometimes to put his words on canvas. During just his second art fair in New York City in 2018, he declared his bipolar to the world and started to normalize it. It is scary to care about yourself enough and have enough compassion to rise above the, the, the shame. Wilson says he diligently takes prescribed medication, visits his doctor, manages stress and sleep because it helps regulate the symptoms of bipolar. I'd like the stigma to go away, just like I'd like there to be more access to mental health uh, and to medicine so that people who have a legitimate illness uh, get a chance to come out of the shadows and get help. Wilson recently became chairman of the board of directors of the Yellow Tulip Project, a Maine-based youth-run nonprofit organization that works to end the stigma associated with mental illness. His show, Already Gone, runs through March 13th in Chicago, and it can be viewed virtually. We have a link right on our website.